Right, this is video two. I've now up near the um, outskirts of Wells. Just been up a little track and continuing another track, which is heading towards Wookie Hole. There are woods there. I've been through the woods on other occasions. And just along here somewhere, there's a lime kiln. Of course, I got all this done on other videos. I mean, I feel like if I was only here last year, but I know I was definitely here two years ago. Um, there's a fork in the road here. I'm going to carry on down, by the way. But if you go up there, that takes you up near a quarry. And that's all been recorded before. I'm not doing that today. Today is more of a march, really, because I'm basically heading back to Cheddar from here but uh, there's a little triangle here and um, just up through there that, see that says if you follow that sign there to Wookie Hole it takes you all through the mud and the trees which I know about okay and up there is the lime kiln that that block of uh, bricks there are old lime kilns but uh, I'm not following the West Mendip way precisely all the time. Uh, basically my mission is to do something I haven't done before. And it's got to be done when there's no cows. So we've only really got very limited time before I've got to do... I've got to fit in the River Parrot walk as well, yeah? All in a month. Then I'd be doing... The walks I'll be doing after that will be what I call non-cow walks, but they'll be in the summer where they uh, we don't have to encounter them very much. But if you walk up through there, that takes you up through where there's like a quarry and you can see all the geology and everything. But if we follow this little track, this will eventually come to a stile or a gate we'll go through that and we'll go down and cross a field to walk through Wookie Hole and we just walk straight through Wookie Hole come out the other side and we aim to enter Eber Gorge now I've been doing a lot on Eber Gorge lately so this is like um, another part to it Coming from a different angle, but actually also going over s some steps I did before. Um, which I wanted to go over again because I was talking too much. I actually um, missed stuff. Because I, I was walking with another person. And uh, you miss things sometimes. Or someone else notices something you miss. It can work both ways. This is this this lane this has got a name by the way. And I'll probably put it on the video as a caption. There's a paper mill somewhere around here as well. In fact the chimney is just coming into view. Whether it's still a working paper mill, I don't know. But um, I'll just zoom in. Over there, that, that chimney there, that's a paper mill. <sighs> On the outskirts of Wookie. Here's another view of the tour. On this video. I'll probably try and capture the tour throughout the walk as we get further and further away from it. That is one of my walks in the summer, going up there. Nice day for a walk, there will be lots of people out later. I've got, 
I've got a head start because I've had to go on the bus from Western because I'm walking back so I couldn't bring a vehicle. So I've got, uh, it took about an hour and 20 minutes on the bus with a driver who didn't know where he was going. I had to keep giving him instructions. Um, in fact, he, he ended up, because I wasn't quite sure how to get to Wells bus station. That's the only bit I didn't know. So I don't do this route very often. Um, so he ended up going through Wells and I got off at the market. Someone else was guiding him the rest of the way. <laughs> Yes, yeah, a glorious day. This is nice views here. Actually, some lovely views all the way up here. I'm supposed to be going out for a walk tomorrow with my children. Or some of them anyway. Because it's Mother's Day tomorrow. But I thought, no, I need to get a walk in because the weather apparently is going to get worse next week. I don't mind going out as long as it doesn't rain really um, but this is a bit of a challenge what I'm doing today so I'm not really stopping off too much on the way um, because I want to try and get back to Cheddar which is quite a long hike now I know if I can't if I get to say Draycott slights and I think I can't do the rest I can get the bus from there there are places I can dip down into um, en route and I, of course there's a time limit the last bus is um, just after s about six o'clock so I have got actually about eight and a half hours to do this walk and I might need eight and a half hours well like I said I'm not really stopping off doing any um, weaving about. Basically, I'm heading for Ebra Gorge. I'm trying to pick up a route to get me um, over. It's heading towards Pretty, but it's, I'll be picking up the West Mendip Way over there. I haven't got wellies on today, so at the moment I'm lucky. I haven't had to encounter too much mud yet, but there will be fields ahead. Right now we're coming up to a little gate which is where we go through the gate. Um, I don't, I, you can go the other way but you end up on a very narrow and busy road and they advise you not to go walking along that. I've been down left before now and it does bring you up on a fast high hedge road. So this is the advised route coming through here and not down there. So we would take advice. And we're actually on the West Mendip Way, but we, we came round the path. I diverted from the West Mendip Way on purpose because I'm, I've got a long way to go. The West Mendip Way, although it's good, and I've got a lot of walking to do, look. No, a lot. I've got to go right up in those hills. Yeah, there's Ebra Gorge over there. The West Mendip is good, but it does make you work. It will make you weave in and out. So, obviously, I do cheat sometimes because um, I've come down through there or off there before now. See, they're putting a lot of signs up. And there's the cows are normally all out around here, all in that field. I'm glad that they have put more signs out because one of my bugbears, if you like, was the fact that you would go on a walk. Okay, you might have a map, but if the signs disappear, then, you know, you can end up doing extra miles unnecessarily, really. And the blue ones do stick out more, more than the yellow ones. The yellow will blend in with the scenery because you get yellow leaves, you see, yellow fields, but blue stick out, as red probably would. And even from here I can see the next blue sign already when we go through the next gate. Now up there is something called Arthur's Point or Arthur's Hill or something, 
there's a lot of legends surrounding that. It's either all, all Arthur or Alfred, I can't remember which one now. But there's history attached to all around here. There's history. And I've got record of it all, and on other videos I've probably remembered the history and spoken about it on them. They're usually on YouTube. Um, but I like to, to I like to go around um, my sort of walks. They only get one really get done once a year or once every two years. Um, like Pretty, for example, I will probably go over there to do Stockland Wood and the Mineries this year at some point. But then I should be, I, you know, divert him. Right, so there's a nice scene, look. There is a gate straight over there. If you wanted to go up where I was last week, I was right up on the top there. Um, walking across those fields at the top. Uh, I came out. Um, shut, smile on you, crazy diamond. There's a gate right at the top there called that, and I've been on that. And then over there, you've got Ever Gorge and everything, you see. Which I'm going to be heading for as well. Right, over and out. <laughs>